Hey guys, this is gonna be a hopefully fairly quick video on how to replace the lights in your steering wheel controls. So when I got the car, this one was actually out and I went ahead and replaced the bulb. But now this one went out, so we're gonna go ahead and replace the little incandescent bulb in there with the new one. Right, so first thing you wanna do is disconnect the negative and you're gonna to wanna to let the car sit for maybe 20 or 30 minutes because we're gonna to have to disconnect the airbag on the steering wheel to actually get to the bolts to get that um, steering wheel control out. So it's an eight millimeter socket. this thing out of the way so it doesn't keep bumping up against it so there you go you can see it's not touching the battery anymore so we're gonna let that sit for a while and then we will get started on getting the buttons out of the steering wheel. Okay, once the car sat for a while you are going to want to get the two bolts loosened behind the steering wheel so that we can actually get the airbag piece off and get to like the wiring connector so we can get this out. <clears throat> they are a T30 Torx uh, bit. Um, let me see if I can flip the video here and I'll show you where the holes are at. All right, so here's one here you can kind of see. Something else I didn't mention is you're gonna wanna have the steering wheel turned a little bit so that you can get to the one on the right and get your <clears throat> wrench to the one on the left here. So we're gonna head, go ahead and loosen those up. So you have those loose, you should be able to pull this out very carefully. Just bring it out kind of straight towards you if you can. And we can see all the wiring. And we're not actually gonna disconnect this, um, the airbag, but we just need to get to the connector that is in here. So we're gonna wanna create some slack with the wiring here. So just, it's tucked, it's kinda tucked into this rubber section here. So just pull this out, gives you a little bit of slack. Um, <clears throat> and then the next thing is, we are gonna try to work this out using some like plastic trim piece tools. I like to use these plastic trim piece tools. This one's got a nice, you know, 90 degree angle at it. And you can so you can fit it underneath here and kind of get it underneath the bottom of the buttons and then just kind of like work it out. Um, and then once you get it far enough pushed out, um, you can just pull it the rest of the way. Now again, be careful because this cable is still connected and there's a connector back here that we're gonna disconnect once we get it far enough here. So I'm gonna work, work that cable in there. Just kind of push it up in there and then that'll give you room to get to the connector here. And you'll see there's like a little tab right there. We can try to focus. And we just want to push that in. I should, so I got it loose and then our piece comes out as you can see here. Okay, so now I'm gonna, I'm gonna go inside to my desk and we'll go over the, the tools and the, you know, the light bulb that we're gonna use um, to actually replace the bulb. We're gonna need a solder. Um, obviously you wanna plug it in and make sure you don't rest it on, you know, anything cause it's gonna get really hot on the tip. We've got our steering wheel controls. Um, you need soldering wire cause we're gonna have to melt what's there and potentially add some additional. We'll see once we get in there. <clears throat> and um, then we need the light bulbs. And then the light bulbs that we are going to use are these 12 volt, three millimeter uh, replacement bulbs. These are clear. I got them from, you can see carradiobulbs.com. Start is getting this thing open. There's these little tabs in here but if you use a small flathead screwdriver, you can start in this location here. Okay. So 
these are the buttons here. I set those aside. <clears throat> then here is the microchip. And here is our light. And it's <clears throat> obviously this is a Pontiac. So it's covered with like a little red, um, you know, just like a little red piece of rubber to kind of make the light white, or sorry, red instead of white. So we can kind of pull that off. There you go. So I got that off. I'll set that aside. And then now you can see our bulb right there. <clears throat> so that's what's dead and that's what we need to. So to get this bulb off, I'm just gonna kind of rock it back and forth. And eventually the, the wires will start to come loose. It's, it's too, too tight in there to get my solder in there. <clears throat> okay, so I couldn't find a, a bit to fit that little nut. So I just kind of rocked this thing back and forth enough where it's gonna come loose here. to focus. Just twist it. Okay. So I got it out and you can see the two, you know, where it was connected. <clears throat> so on our wafer here, our silicone wafer, we've got the two connection points where we're going to want to connect the new light. So our new light bulb comes with these, you know, it's got long wires, just depends on what you're trying to use it for, but we don't need much. <clears throat> so we'll probably cut it. Um, get to focus, we'll probably cut it right about here. Okay, so we got the wires cut and we're gonna go ahead and get some soldering wire and try to get this soldered up. Okay, so it took a little work. I don't usually have this much trouble, but I was able to get the um, wires soldered up to their spots. We're gonna put the red rubber cap back on and put everything back together and hope that it works. Okay, so I went ahead and put the red sleeve back on and now I'm gonna put it back together. All right, we got everything snapped back together. Make sure your buttons still click properly. Let's go reconnect it in the car. All right, so we're just gonna reconnect the connector here. All right, so we got the connector back in. And then we're gonna basically push this back in as you kind of pull on that wire. Just make sure everything gets in there nice and flush. So it should totally slide back in the buttons are still good <clears throat> and then this little wire here um, just kind of feed it feed it back you know uh, behind this rubber part here like so Make sure that's all nice and flush and then we'll go ahead and Put the airbag back where it needs to be. Just kind of work your way around it, make sure it feels firm. And then you will take your, uh, your T30. And then just by hand, you know, get these these bolts screwed back in just to just to secure them to the airbag. So it's just it should just be righty tighty. Okay, so that one feels tight on that side. Go over to this side here. Pressing against the steering wheel or the airbag while I'm tightening it. Okay, feels 
feels tight in my hand. Um, it should be enough that this is secured and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tighten it with the actual wrench. Just, you don't wanna over tighten it, just, just enough that it feels snug, okay? Once everything's snug, we can go ahead and reconnect the negative to the battery and then we will test the lights and see if it works. Okay, you can start it by hand. And try not to get it, you just wanna get it in there and then start tightening it. You don't want it to keep going on and off. I got the car fired up. Let's go ahead and make sure that it is working. So we'll go down, put on the parking lights. There we go. Nice and red to match. Looking good. And then uh, I would turn on your radio and just check, make sure the buttons and stuff still work. So let's go ahead and do that. Yep, it seeks just fine. Change it from F bound and and presets. Look good. So we're all set. So I hope that was a helpful video for you guys. Um, thanks for watching and enjoy the holidays.